Okay, this next area on the net play has to do with forehand or backhand volley. Uh, it's called the stop. Let me just show you. It's okay. called the stop volley. There's people, and I've had a lot of club players do this, but they get a volley and they kind of, <clears throat> they feel like their feet should time, <clears throat> and they literally are stomping their feet. They think it's a proper technique. What do you think about that? How do you fix that? Well, one, first of all, when you stomp your foot like that, your hand vibrates, sure. and also a lot of pressure on the knee. You actually want quiet feet and quiet hands when that happens. So you actually see the player move through more like a ninja than more like a doing the stomp dance. And that's right. good for the, what's that group class that does the stomp? Yeah, stomp. That's, that's the name right. of it. So what we see the player do this time, and I'll do it on the forehand volley to start off. If I put the cone out here and you toss the ball to my right, watch how I would fix the stomp. By moving through the ball, then recovering back, I'm more likely to have quiet feet and move through the ball again. Because cool. I've been told to stop and... But the problem from there is I tense up right when I need to hit the most control. Right. And on the backhand, I do the same thing when I go off my left foot again, going in, moving through the ball from there. Cool. And then I'm able to set up to go into the ball. So the cone mm -hmm. really helps me learn not to do the stomp. And first of all, then you know that the stomp is not the correct technique. Right. The pros just do a lot of times to emphasize, make sure you step forward, sure. but it's not how you want to finish it. Yeah, because I think there's there's people that move well and there's people that move well at the net. Right. And stop to me always means stop. It's synonymous. It if does. you stop, the people don't stop and keep going through the stop. They're generally going up, and that's like a finishing act. Okay, so using the cone drill, getting players to hit and get in the habit of going through the ball and automatically taking a step, just like they will when they play. When you come in to the net, when you play, you're going to hit that volley and continue to move. That's a great way you can fix this problem. So, George, when's the last time you saw Roger Federer come in for a volley and go? Never. <laughs> That's right. Right. So if it doesn't work for him, you know you got problems if you're doing that.